Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with... TNT, Dynamite Explosive, when Jonas, you're the man on the sticks. I'm holding it strongly. Ooh, I can see that. And we're <laughs> playing Madden 20. Is this more Houston Oil Daddies? It is the Oil Daddies. Dang it. I know, there's so many daddies and so little oil to go around. <laughs> I know, we're going to run out of lube. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> wait what? a second. Talking about oil tycoon. What are you talking about? <laughs> oil is lubricant. Oh, for what? <clears throat> for all different types of things, oh, Jonas. For vehicles, for uh, airplane parts, for machinery. <laughs> in parts. <laughs> for that little thing that holds your screen door open. Yeah. You? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I got gotcha. you. All right. <clears throat> and of, of course, for those sweet, sweet cookies, Jonas. Aww. You gotta put a little, little olive oil in that sweet cookie to make it a good cookie. Yeah, you gotta lube up the oven sheet before you put the <laughs> cookie down to cook it. Oven sheet. <laughs> I like that. The oven sheet. <laughs> yeah, because if you don't lube up the oven sheet, then it gets sticky, and then what? And then, then what? And then the cookie gets stuck to the shit. Exactly. <laughs> 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 I thought that shaft would have been a worse word to say, <laughs> and I froze, and I said shh, and it came out as the poop word, but I didn't really fully say it, but it sounded like it did. <laughs> I really didn't say it, dude. It's fine, Joe. Yeah, I didn't, man. It's fine. We got, we're a work in progress, man. We are a work in progress. We just go back to swearing again. No, dude, we've been getting traction. Good. Yeah, dude, but like, look. What? If we had a million subs, we could swear all we wanted. I gotta, I, I gotta know if some of these YouTubers who swear all the time are getting anything. I think we did maybe a little too much. Maybe we could do product placement and get paid that way. What, just like have a commercial in the middle of the video? No, we just like talk about Mountain Dew the whole time. <laughs> We're just like, Mountain Dew's so good. And then, <laughs> and then, and then Mountain Dew will give us like 50 bucks. I wouldn't feel right about uh, advertising a product that I didn't use myself. Yeah, I feel you. But what if Mountain Dew came to you and they were like, we'll give you seven figures to talk about how much you like Mountain Dew. Yes, then I would do it. <laughs> You're like, I'd start drinking it just so I, I could feel better about myself. I would sell out <laughs> super hard. How much would it cost for you to sell out? Not like, what very would much. What would... Twenty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Summer's Eve douche comes to you for thirteen fifty and a full tank of gas, and they're like, "Talk about how much you love our douche." I would have did it for the money. <laughs> thirteen fifty was enough. <laughs> but okay, legitimately, legitimately, to like promote a product you don't believe in, how much money would it cost? It depends on what it is, honestly. Now, now, see, I can promote a product I do not believe in for money. <laughs> but I'm not gonna report or, or uh, promote a product that I find like harmful. Like you can't be like uh, KKK baby wipes <laughs> or something like that. Oh, yeah, I've heard about that new that new, uh, that new product line coming out. <laughs> new, the new racial intolerance baby wipes. Yeah, it's, uh, it says right on the front, not for certain races. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pull it out, it's in the shape of a swastika. Oh my god. That would be the worst baby wipe ever for many reasons. First off, it's racist. Second, how are you going to wipe anything with a swastika? It's the only thing a swastika is good for is wiping your ass Oh, uh, wait, before it was the Nazi thing, it was like an Indian tribe thing, wasn't it? Like, I'm sure they enjoyed it. Oh, God. Oh, man, that's funny. Um... But yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm I'm not really looking to make millions, though I would not put millions down. So if some play, if some company were to offer us $100 every time we put their product in, I would do it. Omaha Steaks hit me up. Omaha Steaks. I would. Dude, I like steak. Have you ever had Omaha Steaks? Those are the ones that they come to your house and they mail order. Yeah. I have had some over my life. There's always a sucker born every minute, so... I've never done Blue Apron. I've never done the uh, food delivery service. <laughs> well, here's what happened with my Blue Apron experience. Mm. So my friend at work was like, Hey, I have Blue Apron. I have a free coupon code. You can get like a free like week's worth of food if you sign up. And I was like, oh, that sounds awesome. So like, I signed up, and I was like, cool, I'll get like, a free week of food. And then like, my wife made me move out. So... <laughs> 
<laughs> so I know, I understand. I so do. Then I I had, like, so then, like, I, this food got delivered to the new place I was staying, and, it, and it, I couldn't cook it there, so I had to take it back to her house and, and let the stepkids cook it. I, so I didn't even get to try it. I don't know if it was good or not. I canceled <laughs> because I was like, oh, I'm not gonna cook like that. <laughs> I thought you had courier or like nope. some food was spoiled or something when it got to your house. No. Nope. No, I'm sure, no. sure didn't have a place to cook. No, it I associate came. Blue Apron with divorce now. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't excited. I know you weren't expecting that. Great story. Oh, oh my god, I kind of remember it too. <laughs> yeah. Like I feel like we've had that one before. I think we did talk about that one time before. But yeah. It's such like a, a thing that normally doesn't go together. That oh look at that high mind. So yeah. Omaha, Omaha Steaks is like Blue Apron, except they only do like cuts of meat. And yeah. I, and in, in the commercials that I usually hear, they say that it's been like aged for 21 years. I don't How does that make it good? <laughs> They're like each Omaha Steak is aged for 21 years. Maybe they're 21 year old bulls when they kill them. And- Butcher. Is that good? I don't know, dude. That seems like it would be like the milk's gone bad sort of situation. That's an old a- a- animal, dude. Oh, God. Don't do it, Brody Guns. I don't want no geriatric steaks, man. Dude, I'm good on that. It'd be all stringy. You would think. It'd be like a be like a pull and peel Twizzler. <laughs> <laughs> how, how long does the average bull live? <laughs> See, in my mind, I saw them just like putting these steaks like in a time capsule. <laughs> Out back in the sun. Bro. Yeah, like olive wood aged barrels of steaks or something. Oh, my oh. God. Oh, my God, six guns. A uh, bull life. Well, but they don't. I don't think they kill bulls for meat, though. You're right. Do they? I think it's cows. So bulls live 22, or wait, cattle in general, 18 to 22 years. How the hell are they making them live 21? This is what I'm saying, it's man. like a cognac of... Uh... A d- <laughs> That's it. But meat doesn't get better with age. It's like the Johnny Walker blue of, of, uh, <laughs> yeah. of meat. I'm like, yeah, could you age my steak like a week and a half, fam? Dude, I don't... I mean, I just, I just want it to taste good. It doesn't matter how old it is, I guess. I'm, I'm, yeah, I just... It was just something I took note of in the old uh, Omaha Steaks product placement that I've seen throughout my videos. They always upscale those things around this time of year because they know people are looking for something oh, to dude, buy. Oh, dude, you know what the best thing is? is? Buying someone a subscription service you pay for the entire year. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, people, when I used to work at the rent-to-own place, people would come in and get their kids computers for Christmas on a rent-to-own schedule. And I was like, but then when you don't pay and then you got to return it, you're like returning your kid's Christmas gift like three Dang. months. You get three months of Windows, friends. Dang, that's that's unfortunate, man. There's people out there that are that broke, though. I mean, they got they got the best intention. I mean, they're getting it with the intention that they're not going to have to give it back in February. Oh, yeah, they're just going to continue to pay for it. But then they don't. And then their kid doesn't have a computer anymore. <laughs> weird dude it's not weird it's poverty what do you mean there's nothing weird about that unless you're the freaking affluent one in the, in the unless building unless you're the repo man that has to come take it out of the child's room she's like why can't i do my homework anymore you've never been broke before Jonas? Yeah. Freaking loot, you've been broke like dead broke uh, yeah, where I ate, like, ramen noodles and pot pies for all my yeah. meals. Yeah. <laughs> where I'd go buy, like, two loaves of bread and two pounds of turkey and make all the turkey sandwiches I could, and I had turkey sandwiches yeah. for every meal. Yeah, now and- imagine being that broke and having a kid. Jesus. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, my God. How about, wait, new scenario. Re- live your regular life. Imagine having a kid. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Same. Just as bad. Almost worse. Almost worse. Well, it's had a seizure right here in the living room. Oh, my God. Do you want to have a baby? I don't want to have a baby. <laughs> Do I want to have a baby? <laughs> we're going to have a baby. <laughs> uh, yes, we're pregnant. Oh, my pregnant. God. Speaking of babies and gender reveals that are out of control. Mm-hmm. So, I, so, like, I, I, where was I? I was at the gym. That's how I saw it. I'm sorry. They're playing ESPN. So, the quarterback for the Eagles did a gender reveal. Oh, Jesus. And his it was him and his wife and some other people standing in, like, a field. And she... Oh, I missed the field. <laughs> you weren't paying attention. I was. It's just the wind, I guess. 
His wife threw a football into the air. He shot it with a shotgun, and it burst into a poof of pink smoke. Oh, and then they showed a picture of him and his wife and their two effing dogs and balloons that say girl stooping down in a turtleneck. And I was like, that's lovely. That's exactly what I thought. It's lovely, <laughs> The first thing I thought was, that's lovely. <laughs> Like, uh, I don't know who started the whole gender reveal party thing. It's been or going on forever. Reveal. Yeah, for a couple years. No, I mean, gender they reveals have been a thing for a long time. They had that ish when we were kids. It, they did, but it just started to get all... Everyone's like, well, who can top the other man? Let's put pink smoke in our butts. We, we, came, we came up in the age of the commercial where Brenda had a baby, it's a boy. <laughs> where the gender reveal was just, hey, call somebody on the phone. Or they had, like, cigars and you handed them out. Yeah. Was all about smoking yeah. It's a boy. Hey, it's a boy. I get cancer. And, and he would just, and the guy would just come to work with, like, a bottle of Jack Daniels because you could drink in the office back then and hand like out that cigars. Day. Like, they're like, that's cool. You can bring in the, the whiskey. <laughs> yes. You're having a baby. Your life's over anyways. Yeah, I like I like that time period, even though it wasn't necessarily the most uh, ingratiating towards uh, African Americans or women or anybody or, else. Yeah. <laughs> that's, not, that's a good point. Yeah, like but, everyone uh, but white dudes were oppressed. <laughs> but yeah, I do I do like the, that Madman era. It's it's very niche. Time out! Time out! Time out! Call it, Joni. I did, I did. I'm on a redemption. We're gonna have a redemption for the missed field goal now. And you could just drink in your office and. Oh, you had smoke in your office and say any ignorant ish you wanted to. Oh, no, Jonas, I don't want to say ignorant ish. I don't want to hit a woman either, but you could do that. They did then. that back then. Yeah, but I don't want to do any. No, of that. I'm good on that. And you know, it's on second thought, Jonas. This is a terrible time period, man. It really was. I'm glad we evolved. Yeah, dude. I'm glad that everyone is not oppressed what, now. What kills me is the people who hold on to those archaic ideas, man. I talk to people, and they just hate, like, the the times are changing. Yeah, that we are evolving as a people. Yeah, I feel you. There's certain things that I don't like, but it's not based on, like, opportunities and equality. It's like... It's like, I, what, the thing that, and this is going to make me sound like a total boomer, that's fine. It, yeah. Um, I feel, I don't like what's happened with, like, the internet and social media. Uh, but the reason for that is I feel relationships are way worse than they used to be in general, even though you're more connected than you've ever been. <sighs> Dang it, Jonas. I want to look it up, but I'm not going to. But there is a, a thing in Japanese culture where a lot of young boys are like uh, they feel depressed and they commit suicide and stuff along those lines of the of female to male population and they say is that uh, people in Japan aren't getting married as much and it's this has been happening in their culture like millennia so it's finally coming to the point where like their suicide rates are super high right and it's just an ingrained part of the culture that they're actually almost to the point where, like, they're not making enough babies to sustain their future. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And I kind of feel like here in the States, we're, like, just getting on the verge of that, where we're not getting married as much. A lot of our interaction is not done face-to-face, -face, and thus people become just, like, uh, less social in general. Mm -hmm. When you don't build quality relationships, everything's surface because it's all like text based and there's no like mm -hmm, real. Mm -hmm. Like, dude, like, think about like when before the internet, like, all people did was like, oh, like, I remember being a kid and like my parents would have their friends come over, two sets of friends, like married couples and their kids, and there'd be like 12, like, six adults and like six or eight kids. And that's like just like an intimate hangout, play cards, talk, whatever. And now people are just like texting and never, like, uh, it's it, when I was married and had stepchildren, they never had friends over because they could play online with each other. So it's like, but you don't get that aspect of like actually like hanging out and bonding with a person. You just you're talking to them over like, yeah. But that that's the whole reason that texting came around because of the convenience factor. Yeah, you give up a little bit of that interpersonal like 
intimacy, I guess intimacy with up. the person, but yeah. you you got the convenience of now I can talk to this person whenever. And convenience is it always yeah. supersedes, it usurps yeah. whatever. But you know what else it is? It's like having AOL Instant Messenger in your pocket, and everyone expects you to be available all the time. It causes <laughs> unnecessary stress to everyone. That I hate. Yeah. That I hate. It's like everybody who has your number has access to you at any point. It just point. expects you to be available all the time to them, no matter what. Because there's no reason you can be. You got your phone, don't you? Yeah, right. Yeah, and then like people be like, oh, I haven't heard back from you. And you're like, you're like, yeah. Uh, oh, wait. Oh, my God, what's happening? <laughs> I don't know. You're, we're going to about um, it all. Yeah, and you're like, yeah, I couldn't get back to you. And then they're all like offended. <laughs> you're like, just because I have my phone doesn't mean I'm like... Yeah, you got to be champing at the bit, yeah, Jonas, dude, to talk to out everybody. With a lady, I'm not going to sit there and text my boys. Like, sorry, like I'll get to you later when I'm not busy. But no, 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 no. Is that once again Jonas speaking from personal experience? No, I don't have. No, experience. dude, you. Did. <laughs> it's happened to you before. No, it hasn't. My like, I don't text with my guy friends. They don't. None of them use texting. No, it's hard for me to text a dude. Yeah, dude, it's like, it's it's so, it's so like, to the point. It's always just like, hey, man, how you been? Oh, I've been good. Yeah, me too. Cool. What you been doing? Oh, nothing. Family things. Okay, bye. And then, like, yeah. but then if you're sitting there talking to a girl, even if it's, like, not even potentially uh, that it's going to get intimate. No, dude. You do. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, acting like you're not very white. <laughs> I'm not very white. What? <laughs> I'm very <laughs> black, Jonas. Thank you. <laughs> 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 But, <laughs> but, oh, oh my God! Yeah, I get you, but I just feel like that's your own perversions o over what texting is utilized for in your own life. Yeah, dude. If you're just using texting as a hookup app, then that's your, that's kind of your effing problem. Well, it's it's crazy because like I feel like it's oh, did we make it? Oh my effing G's. Um, no, dude, I feel like, I don't know. I feel like women and men can connect better to talk and, like, have conversation. But then, like, then you always get that thing where, like, everyone's always like, oh, man, a woman can't just be friends. No. I don't know if I buy that anymore. Which side? That men and women can be friends. You don't know if they can? Uh, I don't Well, where did so. you used to stand? You, you used to think they can be friends without having potential sex? Yeah, I've had up? friends who were girls, and then they try to touch my penis. And so now you believe that can't happen? Yeah, because I've had friends who are girls, and I'm not interested in I've had friends who are girls, and they're not interested in me, and I try to touch their boobs. <laughs> but With consent. Yeah, but, like, it's all, that. <laughs> Like, if they didn't want you to, that's really not consensual. Then, <laughs> I said try to. I didn't oh. say I just went around grabbing chest bunnies. Chest bunnies? Yeah. Yeah. It's, oh, so you feel now that, like, men and women cannot be friends. Because uh, eventually someone is going to catch a feel. I just don't really. Not, like, like, in the literal sense, as in the emotional sense. Yeah. Like, I feel like they can be friends if there's more there. But if there's nothing there, then it's almost like, why are they even hanging out? Because eventually one of them's going to get a significant other and they're going to be cut off from them anyway because that's what happens. Yeah, it's like, I don't know. I don't really. I don't. I, me personally, Jonas, I don't have anything in common with a woman. It's hard for me to talk to them um, unless they have a certain personality type mm -hmm. okay it's hard for me to just communicate on a female level and i spend a majority of my work days with females too yeah yeah your your industry is definitely yeah. dominated by females so i do know i do know how to talk to not come across as a creep yeah i know how to talk to be entertaining but when it comes down to it, there's certain things that I cannot supply a woman conversationally that only another woman can supply her with. Or like an intimate partner. I would say another woman. Okay. 100%. Because even if I were to start dating a girl, she's still going to want to go hang out with her woman friends. Obviously. Because she needs some of that. Unless that she doesn't have any and you're her everything. Yeah, but then see, then that's that's kind of problematic. Yeah. Oh, it is. It, it's kind of good to get out there with some like-minded people. 
but I, I I know guys I know a lot of guys who have girlfriends and they're just like I just want to find a friend another male to talk to to share male ideas thoughts with understandable but it's it's the same way for these chicks out here oh absolutely I and that's fair so do I think we no nah, not really no nah. Not unless she has a certain personality type, John. Well, but I think like, well, so you're saying like, eventually, no matter what, if a man and a woman are trying to be a fr- try to be just friends, it's either gonna one of them is gonna catch feelings and try to make a move. No, 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 it doesn't even have to go that far. But one of them can catch feelings, or the other one, one of the other ones is gonna get a significant other, and then they're gonna be cut out of their life anyway because everyone's insecure and they can't handle he, meant like their boyfriend having a friend. No, no. I, I could either see one of them catching feelings or the relationship just naturally deteriorate because of the lack of, like, interest. <laughs> Boom. That's as cut and dry as I can put it. Yeah, that makes sense. I speak from a, a, a little bit more of an impartial level. I'm not even really equating anything to any experience that I've had. It's this kind of stuff that I've noticed about people. Yeah, but, oh, my God, please. Three. Three. Yeah. Three what, Jonah? Three sacks that were potentially it's four. Worthless. It's 41 to 10. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, I man? Like Ron Howard. <laughs> he does. <clears throat> so uh, go out there and make, fr- make friends with a girl, but, you know. No, it's going to end. <laughs> <laughs> Just like everything else in your life, yeah. Jonah. <laughs> right. What a way to end it. On that note, <laughs> that is all the time we have for today's episode. Please do what you saw today. But for, uh, wait, they're supposed to do something else, too. Are they? Share it with your friends. Your girlfriends. Ooh, share it with your girlfriend. Actually, they don't want to watch it. Share it with a guy friend. <laughs> wait. Share it with your boyfriend. Yeah, sure. Yeah. But for Jonas. And TNT Dynamite. We'll catch you on the next one. We are a... Uh, uh,